would take naps in my car to make it through the day, through the classes, because I had such a long schedule too, you know, 12, 14 hours at school. And then uh, on, on the other days, I didn't really have a day off because other than that, I was I was painting houses because at that time, I, I had about $200 to my name. And so I found an ad that said work from home and I uh, called on it and it happened to be uh, Herbalife. And uh, I said, you know, work from home. I, I don't know if I can work from home because I, I'm working from my mom's basement maybe, but, uh, but that's, that's how I found the company. About a year and a half into the business, still part-time was making $2,500 a month, which was like more than my mom was making at her full-time job. And so I said, you know what, maybe there's, maybe there's something here. Maybe I can do more with it. And I decided to, to uh, ex what I call experiment, take a little time off of school and actually invest, you know, a good three or four months full time. And after that three or four months full time, my income went from about $2,500 a month to about 5000 I was uh, waiting tables at Red Lobster. I had just failed out of college and I was so broke, I was literally riding a bicycle to and from my job. It was uh, horrible. First 10 days in business, I made $420. Uh, my third month, I made enough money to buy my first car, which was awesome. That was my first goal. And uh, by the end of my sixth month, I'd already tripled my waiter income just working this business part-time. Last year, made $150,000. Well, my husband was a factory worker for over 40 years, and I was a school secretary for 21 years. And when we, re when we retired, our combined uh, retirement social security income was about 28000 a year. Uh, that just gets you by. That doesn't let you travel. And even if you have some savings, you know, you can see those savings you wrote pretty quickly. And so that's one reason why I really felt we needed extra income, because we do like to travel. Got started and uh, did exactly what they told me to do, and actually the very first month made a profit of $700. And the second month we made $1,400. And uh, just kept plugging into our system, doing exactly what other successful people were doing. And last year Herbalife paid us over $300,000. Some people tell me, well, I think I'm too old to get started. And what I tell them is, well, look at it this way. In five years, where will you be? The time's going to go by, no matter what you do. So you can use, choose to change your life today, or you can choose to stay the same and be where you are five years from now. I chose to change. I own the family business, owned an automotive repair shop. And um, it was actually a business my dad started about 30 years ago. And business really began to slow down. And it slowed down to the point where I um, didn't really know what was going to happen day to day. And while I was at work one day, we uh, received some information on working from home. And didn't really pay attention to it, you know, to all of it. Uh, being a guy, being a business owner, being blue collar, you know, I basically threw it away, didn't want to hear about it, thought it was a joke. Um, and then later on that day, I was on the phone with my bookkeeper, and she proceeded to tell me how bad things really were. Um, and I was going to be left with a profit of $100. And he month. owned his own business. Yeah, and I owned the place. <laughs> and you don't feed five people, you know, on 100 bucks. We got started right before Christmas of 2001, and without really knowing much, what first two and a half weeks profited twenty one hundred dollars yes. and I told Camille we were a real team first month yeah first month yeah. and uh, told Camille look I'm gonna concentrate on both businesses let's see what happens and working part-time around both our full-time jobs and the three kids um, what at the end of that first year we were making knocking on the door to you know gosh an extra forty thousand dollars and you know, you kind of did the math, and to tell you the truth, you know, the Herbalife business actually kept our doors open at the repair shop more than one month. And uh, in December, we made the decision and put the repair shop up for sale, and I retired in February of this year. My profession, I guess, is I'm a writer, I'm an author, and uh, 
and I love it. I'm also a teacher, and I love that as well, and the challenge with them. With the books, you get a little bit of residual income, but it's just kind of like getting your foot in the door more than anything uh, to, to allow you to get other gigs, if you will. And uh, um, But the, the residual income, meaning the, the income that comes in after you work, is really small. I was the kind of guy where I felt like, you know, I'm a smart guy, you know, and I'm an intelligent guy. I'm a teacher, for God's sake, you know. So I got to know this, and I got to know that, and I got to know what, you know, what really is this, and what really is this. So, and and I would try and make it harder than it really was because I felt like I had to know everything. I'd never done this business before, and what's great about this business is you have somebody that's been there, done that, that has a vested interest in your success, and uh, he would show me what to do, and I started following what he did. And, and, uh, I, uh, my check went from $89 my first month to $300, then $1,500, then $5,600, then a little over $8,000, and I just, uh, on July, my Herbalife paid me a little over $25,000 a month. <laughs> so, uh.